It's important that the teacher is intrusive without being hostile or obviously without being verbally aggressive. Calm, clear, firm, appropriately assertive of course, and make sure the rest of the class is calm. Now to do this we need to have a whole school approach to time out or temporary exclusion from class. And it's also important that the teacher who initiates this process does take time to follow up and follow through with the student and also engage in some repairing and rebuilding before that student comes back to their next class. Right, okay guys. Now, um, Nathan, I know it's a pest to have to stay back after class. Three minutes, I think we can sort this out. And Joe too. You're both friends, aren't you? Yeah, all right. Did you mind if I speak to Nathan in front of you, yeah, Joe? Sure. Yeah, sure. Is that right with you, Nathan? Oh, it's not major crime stuff. Look, I'm concerned about what happened <coughs> this morning when I asked you three times to settle down in your chair. Yeah, all I was doing was leaning back on my chair. Yeah, you're leaning That's back. That's yeah. Why do I have to stay back for look, that? Look, it'd be a lot quicker if I show you. Can I show you? Just quickly. Okay. All right, look. This is what I saw you do. You're leaning back. Okay. I asked you to put, you know, sit down on the floor. You drop to the floor like that. I can still hear you. No, seriously, that's, that's what I saw you do. Okay, look, I know I'm not you. Fair income, but that's what I saw you do. And three times I had to speak to you about behaviour like that. Is there anything you want to say about that? That's what I saw. I don't, I don't do that all the time, though. Nathan, I don't know what you do all the time. Truly, this. this is the first lesson I've had where you and I are working together. And you and I are going to be working together for a fair while in this class, OK? So I just wanted to have that chat with you, that's all. Mm. So next time, basically, just relax in your seat. Four on the floor, yeah? All right. All right, Nathan, do you mind if I speak to Joe here? Mm. Or do you want to stay, do you want to stay or go? No, I'm fine. Joe, are you happy for Nathan? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, I'm concerned. You know when I was trying to settle a class down, right yeah. at the beginning, and I came over to you and I asked you to go back to your seat? Yep. You, you went back to your seat, but boy, did you kick the seat against the wall. Yeah, well, I was well, I was talking to my mate. Yeah, I saw you do that. Class hasn't you? started, yeah. and then you just come over to me for no reason and just told me to go back. I came over for a real reason, which is to go back in your seat. Yeah. And when you went back in your seat, you kicked the chair really hard against the wall. Do you remember that? Yeah, because yeah. I was just I was a bit pissed off, really, because I was just talking, and then you'd come over to me and just bang out. All right, really. so you're really uptight, but all yeah. I asked you to do was to go back to your seat. Now, that, there's going to be many occasions, Joe, when I'm going to be asking you to do simple things like that. Yeah. Right? Things that I hope you won't get that uptight about. You're nice. Don't yeah. know. Is there anything you want to say more about that? I you're just nice. wanted to have a brief chat, that's all. No, I was just... I, I don't normally do it. I was yeah. just really okay. nice. all right, this is our first lesson together, as I said to, uh, to Nathan, our first lesson together. Mm. All right, now I'll catch you guys again. What is it, Thursday, yeah? Yeah. All right, see you later. Off you go. Come on, Richard. Uh, Richard, sorry, Nathan. See, it takes a while for teachers to learn new names, all right? All right, off you go. See you later. Cheers. All right. Thanks, Joe. Do you know why I've kept you back, Richard? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Do you? You don't know why I've kept you back. What did I say to you before? You've done no work this afternoon. Half a dozen times I came up to you, done no work. I said if you didn't pull your finger out, you'd be staying back at, re at the end of the day. Didn't I say that? Didn't I? Yeah. And what did you say to me? Hmm? Okay. What did you say to me? Okay. You're caring now, aren't you? Aren't you? When we follow up and follow through with a student, whether it's a brief after-class chat, uh, an informal or formal detention, or a behaviour interview, I believe it's important to tune in how the student's feeling, not patronisingly just to let them know that we think we know how they're feeling. It's also important then to focus on the behaviour or the issue or the task that we've kept the student back for, again without attacking the student, tempting as it might be as we've shown. Thirdly, it's also important to refer the student briefly back to the student behaviour agreement. And sometimes I find it helpful to gently mirror the behaviour to the student, particularly for young lads, but we should always ask permission when we model their behaviour back to them. It's also crucial to give the students a right of reply, either a verbal right of reply, or as we'll see a little bit later, a written right of reply, where the student can write down what happened, uh, what right or rule was affected by their behaviour, what their side of the story is, because all students have a right to a reply, even if they bend the truth sometimes, we can work through that. And lastly, of course, what they can do next time in a similar situation. And lastly, with any follow-up, we always, as teacher leaders, 
Always separate amicably. Always separate amicably. Right, Jasmine and uh, Francesca, you know why Bar should have stayed back at uh, this detention? Yeah? yeah. She started it though. I didn't. Uh, we, we can sort that out later. We can sort that out later. I want to have a chat about this with you both. We've got a half an hour. Detention's a long time. Look, to help sort this out, I want to give you both a chance to write down what happened. Yeah, what happened? As you both see it. Yeah. What classroom right was affected by your behaviour? Remember we spoke about rights two weeks ago? Remember that whole session we had? Yeah. But I want you to give me your version of events as well. You know, this is your chance just to share with me as your teacher what happened. Yeah? Your version of events. And lastly, of course, what you think you can do to sort this out and fix things up and make things better. Now, once you've written that down together, then we'll have a chalk and see if we can sort this out, yeah? Okay. We've got, remember, we've got half an hour. So I'll leave that with you. All right? Remember, I've asked Miss Barham to join us, and uh, I'll leave this with you now. All right, you got pens with you? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Off you go. Uh. To summarise, 